Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is about maybe 20 past three in the afternoon. Yeah, it's my second video for the day. And what we have got here, of course, Magnificent Garfield. And at the moment, Woolies are giving out these little things. What they are, are Ushies. They're the Lion King Ushies. Um, and every time when you spend $30, you get one of these and I spent I think about 60 70 I spent at 70 dollars so I got two and the lady in the next checkout didn't want hers so she gave me her so I told the lady to give her to me there is one special one I'm hoping to get because it's um it's very special really my sister had a dog years ago and named after a lion in the Lion King. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got a sneeze coming. Oh! And if I get this one, I will give it to her when I see her next. Um, she is, I think I know if I told you about it. I went and seen her at least a time. She's in hospital. She's finally getting out of hospital. March. It was March. She went in. April, May, June, July. So it's nearly five months hospital. She's been in hospital. She's finally going home today, and which is good. So come if you happen to be watching. I know she. I sent. Her, I told her to go and sick of it. So I'm going to open these on camera and see if I get one of these little ones. And the one we're after is Nala. I don't know if what that one is. It's a blue one. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to have a look. We didn't get anything. It's a blue one. I don't. It's, I don't know. It doesn't say who they are. I'll have to bring up my computer and have a look. Oh, what have we got here? A mea cat. Look at that one. Aren't they cute? That's two. Come on, Na come on, Nala. I want Nala. I want Nala. Oh, Mama. <gasps> is it Nala? I don't know. I don't know who that is. That is that Nala? I'm going to have to have a look. I don't know. I think it might be. So there they are. There's the three I got. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move this table away and bring my computer table in and have a look to find out if I can see if that's Nala. If that is Nala, it's a gold one. Well, that where it is. I'm going to give it to my sister as a special. They're, they're cute. They're recommended at, if you want to buy them separately, they're $3 each. I think these are really cute. They're gold ones. So as I said, I'll move the cap, move the camera, get in place, and I'll come back. Well, I'm back. I've got onto the woolly side here, and we have a big thing here about the ushies. Um, the line clean has come back, has been come back in. in. It, they've redone it in. It's not cartoon form. It's the other form, and it does look amazing. Um, I need to find out which one Nala is. I'm not quite sure if I have her. So I'll click on Discover More. It, I'm sorry it's a bit dark. How's that? Um, the Lion King features Savannah. We know all of that. There, there is 24 to, to click. One with every $30 you spend. Um, this is the one I've got here. Okay. I have to go along and see it's who's that? That's Simba. And Mafusa. Is it Mafusa? Mafusa? I think that's who this guy is. I think that's Mafusa. I'm sorry it's a bit dark. I'll see if I can lighten a bit. I've got all my lights on. 
Um, where are we guys? Go up there. Um, that's not the one I got. Who's that? Oh, that's Cub, Cub Simba. So who's this? I think this is the one I've got. I don't know. It doesn't say. Is is? I don't think so. I'll have to check and see what else we've got. I have got that one. I have got that one. This one. I'm sorry it's dark. It's, oh. Timian. Discovers a downtrodden symbol after he flees Pride Rock in search of a different life. Okay. No. That's it. That's the one. No, it's not. No, it's not Simba. It's not Nala. It is actually. I don't know. It is hopeless. That's Nala. No, I haven't got Nala. I have got, that's not Nala. I have got, this is Mephusa's wife. I, oh, Mephusa is um, Nala's father. Okay, I think that, I think I'm, uh, Mephusa, isn't that um, Lion King? Okay, where we go? I've got to go back here. I have, it's very dark, where, where's the blue one? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, that one. The Fusa, um, the Fusa is Simba's father. And Nala is actually Simba's friend. Okay. I've got Mephusa and Mephusa's wife. I know that. I haven't got Nala. No, I don't want to do any deliveries. And I have got a meerkat. That one. And that is Timon. Okay. I didn't get Nala, which is a pain. I wouldn't really love to get it, maybe next time. Um, I do a big shop like this um, every two weeks. I used to actually do my shopping online at Coles, but they have now doubled their delivery fee to $8 instead of 4 So unless they have got a lot of good specials that I want and I can actually verify, make sure that, the eight dollar, the extra eight dollars is worth getting delivery. I will just continue doing my shopping at Woolies, and I will get them from Woolies. So again, I have got Mufusa. That's Mufusa, and I have got his wife, and his wife's name is. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, come on. I forget her name. Then I think that's her. No, that's not. Yes, it is. It's her. Her name is Sabara, S-A-R-A-B-A. -A -A. So that's Mafusa's wife. And I have got one of the... um. Meerkats, 
Three cats are so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, that's it done. So I've got three. I cute. These are better than what the coals have. These are worth better than them. And what else? I've actually got something else to talk about. Um, you know that I have a bad time with depression and things and everything. Well, the other night I was bad and I decided that I'm going back to a place um, called Hill for Life. It's a place in 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 New, country western New South Wales, not really in, um, called Hill as Hill for Life. It's in, I think it's called, is it Cessnock? I think it's in. And hope, I'm still waiting for a call to them to confirm that I am in the week I requested. I thought they would have called today, but they haven't. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, because it's a whole week. It's a place for those who have, have childhood trauma, who um, have issues like depression, anxiety, mental illness, borderline personality disorder, who have trouble coping with everyday life, who just need to get help with healing. Um, I have been there twice before. The, f the first time was in 2013 and the second time was five years ago, five years ago next month. So I've, the way I have, I have been, it's like... Um, the other night I was feeling like I am just waiting to die. You know, I don't feel I'm living my life to the fullest. I know some people say you look okay and all this, you know, but they, they can't see what's going on in their head. It's, I wish that there was some kind of outward look to those of us who are mental illness, especially the depression. Depression is the worst. Um, and with my borderline, that didn't come to the surface until because of my ex. Um, and she brought my abandonment issues to the surface. I did not know I had them until she brought them out. And I'm still trying to get through. You probably say I'm still healing from what she did. I know um, I mean, it's been about two and a half years since the relationship ended. I am feeling good. It's the best thing that ever happened within myself. I am feeling good. But it's still the time where memories come back at what happened. Like yesterday morning, I was getting ready to go volunteer, get ready to do my, go volunteering, and um, a memory came back that the first time I was gone. Because she is the one who actually told me about Heal for Life. Um, and she decided it was all planned that I had to be there Sunday afternoon. So she said, what we'll do, we'll drive down, we'll go down and stay a night or two down there. And she could drop me off at Maitland before, and not at Maitland, at Hill for Life, um, for my weekly week. And, but something happened and she had to pull out for taking me down. Um, I can't remember, I can't remember if she had to go away for training or she had to work. I, I can't remember what it was, but now I'm thinking she must have lied because she, as you all know, she was living with this other woman and how was she supposed to get away? And it just, it is just hard. Um, I feel that if I met someone who really wanted me in their life, who really wanted me and that I could start to heal, having someone with me to help me through that, to give me a relationship the way it should be given, um, without the lies and the cheating and the deceitfulness that was in that one. Um, I know that in the relationship, I didn't, there's nothing I did wrong, but what I did do was that did cause trouble was I was reacting to her and not invite me into her life and not invite me into her home is that was it um it is hard you know I still have to think about why did she st say the things she did why did she do the things she did if she didn't want to follow through I don't know but at, um as I said, I'm going next 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 month. It's actually from the 25th of August to the 30th, 
which I'll leave on the um, the I'll leave on the Sunday, and I return home on the Friday night. Um, and because that I've gone gluten free, lactose free, I have this problem with how with food. Because, they have a problem with food, but it's just that we do have to take food that we can share with everyone, and and I don't cook because it's hard to find what to cook that can be help can help me that's not gluten free. It's even hard to find soup that is gluten free that does not have mushrooms in it. Because um, I also follow, follow the FODMAP diet, that's F-O-D-M-A-P, I also follow that. And there are things, um, I can get a gluten-free soup, yes, but like it has mushroom. I don't like mushrooms, but they're high on the FODMAP diet and you've got to stay away from the high ones. So it's hard to actually find something that I eat, so I just... Like for breakfast, I'll have my cereal, my cereal of gluten-free cornflakes. For lunch, it depends where I am. If I go out for lunch like I did today, I head in the Subway and I get my Subway there. For tea, I'll have, um, what will I have? I usually have a toasted sandwich. I'll have chips, hot chips. I've got gluten-free ones. I'll have sausage roll or I'll have a salad. It just depends. So I'm not doing any cooking. And so I've got a month to work out what I'm going to do. But I've got to wait to hear from them to see if it's okay that they'll accept me into that week. Um, I hope I do get into that one. Um, I have been feeling good since um, Monday when I went out. You see my last video where I, I my last before the last. My last video I just uploaded was the shout out. So you would have seen that one, um, and there, what's happening? Um, and that's it, I've just got to, I want to get healed, and I feel that if I had someone in my life, someone who wants me in life, as I said before, someone who will show me what a, a true relationship is about, I think that I could begin to really heal from what I've been through. With what my family, um, being as crazy than what I am. Yes, I know I'm crazy. I don't care. It's okay. You know, that I'm not putting myself down. This is how I feel. This is who I am. Um, and just things, you know, I don't like people who say they're going to do something and they don't follow through with what they're going to do. And I don't like people who, in my eyes, it's lying. They say they're going to do it and they really don't think they're going to do it, but they say it anyway. I know my ex was good. At, she was so good at doing that. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. You know, nothing ever eventuated. Um, someone else in my life was like that, but that's, that's the past. My ex is the past. I am feeling good. Um, my volunteer work is like, um, my God, you don't want to know what I'm looking at. You really don't want to know. I don't want to know either. Um, my volunteer work is like therapeutic for me to go there because um, it is amazing. Wednesday, yesterday morning, as the day, day Thursday, the 25th of July, um, I woke up yesterday, I thought, oh my God, I don't really want to get out of bed. I don't really want to go. You know, I don't really, but I thought I had no reason really not to go. So I thought, and because I won't be there next, next Tuesday, um, I'll explain why in a minute. Um, and I got up and I got dressed and I went and I'm glad I did because it is a fun place. We have fun. It's, um, a very laid back place where I volunteer and it's, it's just amazing how much it makes me feel when I leave that place. Oh yeah, next Tuesday, last week where I volunteered, they had a sign up for, hang on a minute, back in a minute, I'll get the poster, I'm back in a minute. Hi, I'm back. I took longer than I expected. Now about this training I'm doing next Tuesday, it's, 
um, LGBTI aged care training. Um, it's, it's for, let me see. It's for anyone who's working in aged care, um, home care, probably aged care and own home care. And this is what it says. Um, this is central and relevant one day training for all workers in the aged care sector will help promote a better understanding of the needs of the LGBTI people and provide staff with more conf confidence to deliver an inclusive and best practice service. Um, that's okay in teaching people, but what the main thing is, is that, um, yes, it's okay doing the training, but it'd be interesting to see who actually will be, actually be at the training. It will be people from the LGBTI community or will be those from the hetero community in the aged care, um, because it's not just doing the training and know how to treat them, but it's also to acceptance of who we are as people, to accept us as part of that we are in the LGBTI community, um, to do not discriminate because that of who we are, um, and also because it has happened in Australia where those in aged care I'm not quite sure what kind of aged care with the, um, I did see a video where there have been lesbians who have actually had to go back into the closet because of where they are so they don't get discriminated across against. And this is what has got to stop. Um, to, all we want is to be treated as, and as an equal, as a norm, forget about our sexual, forget about who we identify as. Look at us as best people as the same way we look at, at you. That's all it comes down to. Treat everybody the same, no matter what they are, and that that's all. It's just equality for everyone. Um, see, if you're if a worker's in aged care and they have a gay guy and they know he's a gay guy, they should not discriminate against him because he is gay. You should treat him as a, a normal person, as you would a heterosexual. That's all it comes down to is respect for who a person is, not who a person are based on their sexuality. That is not what it be. Um, I, that's what I, but what I think it is, is also another thing involved in this, um, is that people have got to understand. I know people are against those who are transgender made because they don't understand. I do not understand how it is to be transgender, how to be born in another body. But there's also those out there who um, have this dysphoria, I think it's pronounced, about their body. I don't know of males, but I know of females who do not like their body, in particular their breasts. They do not like them. Um, I don't know if you've heard of that. You get some, these young ones, they bind themselves so they can't, so not haven't, they don't realise that they have the breast, they're still, they can't, I don't know, it's there. Um, but I have seen a couple of young ones on Facebook, sorry, not Facebook, on YouTube, had a channel. Um, they both went through double mastectomy because of this phobia against their body. And this is probably the same with anyone who's transgender. Um, they would have to go through psychological Fix up, not fix up, psychological um, investment in, oh, you know, inspection, not inspection, I'm getting this all wrong. To know that they are in the right frame of mind, that, that they really feel that this is a problem. Um, and I think the same kind of, oh, what's the word, what's the word, psychological um, evaluation, that's the word, evaluation to find out. Um, make sure what they feel is correct, um, that they are feeling this and they go through, they do, I know these couples, young, uh, two ladies, two young, not late, yeah, in the twenties, they had been through this, they both had their doubles mastectomy and they are so much 
better about it in within themselves well i actually i'm going to go back to look on their channel um i did stop sometimes i do stop watching channels from time to time then i'll go back into it now i'm getting into this training i might go back and actually get back into watching it so i can understand that more because for me i have no idea how they are feeling but whatever they felt about before that is okay no matter who you how you were feeling about you that is okay. No one should question you about how you are feeling because no one knows how you are feeling. No one is inside your body saying, you're not feeling this way. You can't be feeling this way, you know. But as I said, whoever you are, whatever you identify as, be proud. I've said before, be proud of who you are. Um, why don't you start a straight parade? Come on, people, you know. Why not be proud of who you are? It, I know Stephanie said the same thing. Pride is not just for the LB, LB, LGBTI community. It's for everyone to be pr proud of who you are, no matter what you identify it with. And there's one thing I have noticed in this LGBTI, the lesbian comes before the gay. <laughs> we come first, girls. It's, that's the only place, I think, is because when I go to shopping centres, you go to the toilet, it's always the males first. Let me see. And I think there's one, one, actually, sorry, it's two. There's one, two, three, I've got to think. Oh. It's, I can think of four toilets in the plaza and I just remembered is half and half that they are first one is female the second one is male it's two of each so but some place it's always the male toilets when you walk into the toilet block section the men are always the toilets are first now that one the one near Woolies is male first let me see let me see let me see, let me see. yeah um the one near target it's the females the one near the third court is females. Um, there's an, uh, another one. Another one round near IGA is the male. So it's half and half there. But most of the time, all you see is oh, yeah, in actually in um, in town in Coffs Harbour, the females is the first. So I think we do out with. But sometimes it feels like. The men's always come first. Like when there's married couple, male, female, married couple. You've got Mr. and Mrs. So, LB, LG, it's good. Um, and if I have got any subscribers who um, are not really, who don't agree with people who are gay in the LBGTI community, that's okay. You know? We are who we are, um, we can't stop being who we are, just like you can't stop being who you are. Um, just like you, we were born this way, even though some, you always knew, you didn't question that you were heterosexual. Um, for us, there is a question, that, that you go through a stage, uh, I, we question ourselves at, at who we are, you know. I can remember saying, am I gay? I can remember asking myself that, you know, and when you start questioning, you've got to really think about it, and it is hard. Um, as I said, you, 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 said to, no, how, you straight people, heterosexuals, whoever, however you want to describe yourself, um, you cannot understand what, what it's like to go through realisation of being gay. It is a... It can be hard for some, it can be really mind-blowing, it can be really a lot of tension which was around me for two weeks leading up to it, although I did question months before, but the two weeks before I realised that I was gay is um, was very, a lot of tension floating around me and other people felt it. And it's a confusing time and wondering what is going on. And 
maybe if people sat down and realised that we are all the same underneath, we are we all in we all blood and guts, as we, we like, I like to say, blood and guts. We all bleed red blood. We're all the same, except of who we want to identify as. I know for some reason I don't like the word homosexual, although that that is what I am. You know, I don't know what it is about that, but a lot of people don't like the word dyke. Um, it doesn't worry me. Um, so, it's just who we are. Accept people for who you who they are, um, and until for some reason. They turn against you for some reason, and but that's not your problem. That they would have the problem because they turned against you for some reason, which you have no idea. And and there could be a straight person who's turned against you, so you don't know. And the one thing that really, really gets me is not in a bad way, in the mind-boggling way, is how like. We had big swimmer, big Olympic swimmer, medal, gold medals, the works, who um, always denied he was gay. Denied, denied, denied. He's not gay. He's had girlfriends. Denied, denied, denied. But me, no, mate, you're gay. No matter what you say, you're gay. Eventually, he came out as gay and he actually talked to Ricky Martin before he came out and I feel if denying you are gay is like it must be a reason why he said that you know it's one thing I wouldn't because I'm not in the limelight oh yeah actually I am I'm a YouTube star you know I was at my well, volunteer work the other day I was saying how um I'm getting some happy meal got a lovely lady emailed me wanted to know if she could send me some happy mail and they said what's happy mail I said happy mail is like fan mail I said Celia we'll be wanting you'll be wanting autographs soon from you <laughs> star I mean put it down we are we're on YouTube we're stars we are actually putting our life out there I know some people are very weary at what they put on the camera me I'm an open book so if there's any questions you want to ask about anything, email me. Um, and I might do a question and answer video or I might just answer the question in a video I'm doing. So I haven't done this after for a while, but if there's any question or all you want to ask, email me. Then, I, as I said, I could do it do it in the video so that I'm asking out. Um, and if you want, if you see my shout out I did for my, for another, for the, um, for the channel I just uploaded not long ago, if you want me to do a shout out, just let me know and I will do a shout out for your channel. It's a freebie. I said, no, I'll just, I'll do the whole video. If you go have a look at it and what I said about this lovely lady about her channel and why I, sh she was my first shout out that does not involve entering into a giveaway. This is something I want to do um, because I want to spread the news, spread everybody get out there and follow these channels um, and get everybody into a good mood, you know. Everybody share the happiness of our reborns. Um, that's it. What time are we? Oh, God. Yeah, quarter past. Um, that's it, you know. Share the happiness of the reborns. Don't let anyone put you down or say bad things about you because you play with dolls, they are the ones with the problem, not you. You, We are doing this for a reason. We are sharing our love. We are sharing a good community. So we want to keep everything up and up and highlighted and happiness and no bickering, none of that. We do not want that against each other in this community I know it goes on I've seen it in the past and we do not want that in this community it happens everywhere um, so happiness joyful love cuddles cuddles to everyone out there who's watching and if you are new to my channel 
Are you new? If you're new, where have you been? Where have you been all this time? I've been here for 12 months and you only just found me. That's okay. You might have only just come on YouTube and discovered, oh, we've got some good channels out here. This is a good one. How about subscribing to my channel? Okay. Then if you did, go back to my other channel. I did a shout out and go out to that one and join that lovely lady from England. She has got a beautiful accent. I did a shout out. I'm not saying any more. You go and listen to the video. Um, enjoy, subscribe. Click the little bell to get notifications of new videos. And share your babies. If you are a bit timid about going in front of the camera, that is okay. You'll come to a stage where you'll want to be in front of the camera. Um, we don't have to be just videos about your reborns. Um, I know some people just do videos with their reborns and things, you know, but that's okay. That's how they prefer to do their channel. Everyone is different. I like to do different channels like I open my Ushies and my Ushies. I open them and in the, you've seen my mascot who's in the banner up here. You've seen him and he's my mascot. And I've had outings. Um, I was going to go in the main part of Coffs today because they have a they have markets there every Thursday. There's actually a store there for reborn dolls. I was going to go, but it was overcast. I thought, no, I didn't want to go because I would want to take my pram and take one of my babies. I said, no, I won't go today. But it didn't rain. But that's good because I had to go do my shopping. Otherwise, I'd have no bickies. So I've done my shopping for the week, but I am going back. I've had a request for to do a video on something and I'm going, I might do that Sunday afternoon. It seemed like some states are still on holiday because there was a few kids at the plaza today and I'll probably do it late in the afternoon, probably about half past two or something. I'll go out. I have to take my stick and we will actually do this video that you requested. Um, um, there's a couple of places I could do it. So be all in the pla done in the plaza. Um, I will show you. I do watch. I, I don't get people in it. I will show you where on the main part that this lovely lady asked me to do. I will do that. Then I will show you something else. A bit of pieces of bit of bits, bit of there and bit of this. Um, so any suggestions, I can do a video. Very welcome to send some. Um, happy mail. But I should let you know that um, I don't have a post office box. I may get one. Um, so I may get one. I'll just see what happens with what's going on with something. And if that comes about, I'll think about actually getting one so that I don't have to give out my home address because I don't have a post office box. Um, I'll just see how it goes. Um, but in all that, um, trust is the one thing in this community. So when you do receive a parcel from me or, or you, I do give you my address, like the lady who, who asked my address, she want to send me a happy mail. I trust you implicitly in not, I don't know, what's the harm? They don't say that not to actually show your front of your, where you live, but I have seen one place the front of the house, so who cares? Um, so, yeah, what time are we? Yeah, still got a few more minutes. Um, bold and beautiful and half past four. It is 18 past four, so I've got a few more minutes. What else is happening? Um, nothing much. Um, I asked where I volunteer if I could take my tiny babies in. I said I've got 10-inch ones because they know that they are dolls and I'm allowed to take those in. And since I'm not going next Tuesday, I'll take them the week after. And, of course, there's one lady who always asks me how my family's going and so I'm sure she will love to see one of my babies. So I might take different ones over the course of whenever because when I take my take take them on the Tuesday and on the Wednesday because there's different clients. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm enjoying my time on YouTube. I'm enjoying all the lovely comments that I get from you beautiful people out there. 
um, and enjoying that. It's just an amazing community to be. Oh, just remember something. I want to say something. Um, I'm. I think I mentioned. I'm not as on Facebook as much as I used to be. I don't put any status dates up. Um, I don't have Facebook on my phone anymore. If I go on Facebook, it's only when I go on my computer. The other day, I think it was Saturday, Sunday, I went through some of the groups that I'm mem a member of and decided I don't com I don't post, I don't comment, so I thought I might as well just delete myself from that group. Um, I, there's this one group, it's a reborn group, I deleted myself from. Then I got a message from the admit wanting to know that she realised that I actually left of my own accord and wanted to know if I was still in the reborn community. Well, that goes to show this person has not been watching my videos because she was on my friend list on Facebook. And she has she knew about my videos. Has not been watching it because I know no one in Australia has watched my videos. My friends, they know I've got a YouTube channel. Um, you know, come on, friends. It's, you don't have to subscribe. Just let me know. Um, I asked my sister, has she seen my videos? She said no. So I sent her a let her know with my channel name. And I said, I said, oh, that's a comment so I get. And the reactions I get is amazing. Um, and it's really good. It's something, it's the best thing I've ever done really is get onto YouTube. As I said, it'll just share my babies. I've got to go through my babies. One thing I've been meant to do is actually do a photo of each of my babies. That is something what I've got to do one day. Yes, well, well, I think I might go. I've nothing else more to say. Garfield is happy because I'm not talking about any other cat. Am I? Not like before. Yeah. So, hang on. Hi, guys. Sorry about the cutoff. Um, had a phone call come through for Heal for Life I was talking about to earlier. Just to talk about things, what's going on. Um, and I actually can't book my transport yet because I've got to wait till at least a week before the trip to find out where I get off at either I get off at Maitland or I get off at Morissette. Hopefully it's Maitland, but if it's Morissette, it's it's a lot better because it's closer to the airport and a lot of people probably coming that way. It just depends on what's going. So I've got to wait for that. Um, dietary requirements, um, I actually sent him a link to the PDF file for the FODMAP diet so he can have a look at that and find out what is going on, what like can incarnate in that. And a couple of weeks before I go, they'll contact everybody about the different diets that different people have been on, which is something that never happened before. I have been to Hill for Life twice before. So this has never happened before. Well, I've never had a special diet before. Um, if you really want to talk about Hill for Life is actually in Australia, um, the Philippines, and I think the UK. I think in the UK also have it. Um, it started in Australia. It was started by a lovely this lady. She was an English lady, and she started it. It's been going on for I can't remember how many years. It's been opened. And I don't, listen, as I said, it's not in the States. It's only in Australia, the Philippines and England. Um, if you want to know more about it, just do a Google for Hill for Life and you'll find out what the Hill for Life, what they do. They actually work on your inner child and you, they do um, workshops on how trauma can affect the brain. And the inner child part is amazing. Um, towards the end of the last, I don't think it's the second last, not quite sure what day it is. I think it's the second last day, maybe the Wednesday or Thursday. They actually throw a children's party for us where, um, 
we don't do anything. I remember the first time I went to it and had it, there was something on the floor, so I went, I went and picked it up. I was told it's a no-no, it's a party for me, and not to pick, lift a finger. They do everything, and yeah. So it was amazing. I had it, As a child, I never had a party. I don't remember having a party. I thought it was nine of us. I don't remember even getting a birthday cake in the family, you know. I can remember a brother having a birthday cake. I think also maybe his sister. I'm not quite sure. But within the family, I do not remember having a birthday cake. But there was nine of us to worry about. and But that's the past. I'm looking to the future, looking forward to going to Hill for Life to get... Um, I may find more about what ha um, last time I went I've actually actually had a trigger um, and I can remember sitting we well, having a workshop we having something I remember sitting there I took Ruby with me I remember holding Ruby and I remember holding it tighter and tighter and tighter I can remember seeing all the I was frozen. I can remember seeing all the others get up and moving away. Then one of the other, one of the one of the ladies who help out, who worked worked through it, on the other volunteers, she came over and sat beside me and asked me what went wrong. And I said, I'm scared. And she asked me to look into her eyes, and I did. And she and she said, It's okay to be scared. And I repeated, it said, It's okay to be scared. Um, I don't know what I was scared of. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure that I do not remember the person, what were the who the person was, and what they were saying. But I do remember. I'm pretty sure who the person was was this other person there who had we had this kind of contact thing, as in whatever she was feeling when she was upset. I felt upset. I remember on the last day we had this thing about giving and there was this circle of things and I actually picked up one. The one we picked up was for the person we had to give it to, look who it gave it to, and I actually picked up hers. And when it was my turn to give mine out, when I stood up and started walking towards her, it was she, the look on her face was like, what? She could not believe that I actually got her, hers to give to her. She could not believe it, and I could not either. It was amazing. Um, it is it is amazing place to go. It opens up your eyes. It opens up if there's something. It is maybe this time maybe more will come out of it. Um, I will take Ruby with me again. So I'm going to have to pack some clothes. Oh, I probably won't pack many clothes because I'll carry around. Like I took her last, I took her last time, of course, they're the first time I took her. And it was good. So I'm going to have to look around what clothes I can take her. Hopefully it's not raining. Um, I don't need, all I need to take is my gear. Um, we buy food at, We've got to buy food, but we actually do a shop before we actually go to the place where Hill for Life is, and we do a shop of what food we need to get. There is a list of things that we need to buy, and it's completely different to what we actually had when last time. So it's going to be interesting. Is we've got to buy this, we've got to buy that. So it's really good. And we can buy things for ourselves, special breakfast, which I usually have cereal, so I'll probably grab some cereal. Um, I know I'm taking some of my biscuits from here because I'm not quite sure if I'll get the same biscuits where we're going. It depends on where we shop, if they will have these biscuits, because I don't want any other biscuits. Um, I'm going to wait to see if I have to get off at Maitland. I could get them at Maitland. Because there is, a, I think, a woolly store that I can get them. But I'm, if I've got to go to the Morissette, um, I'd find out what store we'll be shopping at as to see if I can get these biscuits. If I can't get them at that shop, I will actually have to get them before I go. Because I know I'll need some biscuits on the train. Um, because I might have to make a sandwich for myself. Um... I have got a cooler brick thing which I take to volunteer where I take a salad 
take a sandwich on board, um, pick up a lunch and take my lunch and just get a, um, a sandwich, a cup of tea on board with no milk. Unless there's someone I can take some lacto-free milk with me, I'm going to have to have a black cup of tea. Um, usually when I travel on a train, I usually get a bottle of Coke Zero. But I can't drink Coke because it does affect me. I had it once about a couple of months back and the next day it hit me. Toilet, please, silly. Can't drink Coke. Um, yeah, that's it, you know. Um, it's all, I'm on the list to go. Um, I know what bed I want to get in. <laughs> there's one, there's two cottages and there's six to eight, they have 12, they have 12, um, guests there at a time. And there's six in each cottage and the cottages are divided into two. So they've got two rooms, three in each room. So it depends on how many go as to where I get. On the last time they went, they um, had to ask people if they, it's okay sharing in the same cabin as the male. Not the same room, the same cabin. As I said, there's two rooms in each cabin, which has three beds. So it is, I'm looking forward to it. It's also, it's a peaceful place. I think I said it before, it does no phone, no TV, no computer. No, we, ha we the get as guests do not have any contact with the outside world. It's on a beautiful property. Um, I wonder if I will be, I'm going to ask about, I wonder if I'll be able to do a video there. I'm going to have to ask, find out. Um, have to find out about that. I know we can take pictures and things, but it's a, it has to be on the last day when we get, on the Friday when we leave and when we get our phone back. If one, we can take pictures and that. Unless if the person doesn't want to be in the photo, we can't put them in the photo. That's okay. You know, I'll just wait and see what happens. Um, or I might not. Um, I've got to be careful. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I might do a morning video when I'm leaving um, at the train station. Depends on. I've got. If I got to get off at Morissette, that means I've got to. Um, change stations get off the train and go somewhere else so if i've got to do that i might actually book my suitcase in so it goes in the um luggage compartment it saves me so that way they can transfer it so i don't have to do it hopefully i'll just wait and see so i think i should go this is getting a bit long i had to come on because we got interrupted by the phone call the first time i had a, had a phone call got interrupted my video videos so people again Thank you for my subscribers. I do appreciate you. Um, thank you for all your beautiful comments. Um, and said, so Joanne, your parcel's on its way. You should be leaving Sydney soon on the route to you. I'll keep you update how it's going on each video. Um, it could be there in a week. Um, I know on the same day I sent my baby, new, the newest baby off to the baby makers to get created. So she should have that tomorrow. So I'm not quite sure um, and I found out on the video that Stephanie will if you pay an extra fee to Stephanie she will actually give you a box opening so I've sent a message to Patreon that I would like a box opening with my next baby because it probably will be my last baby from her don't worry I'm watching um, everybody else Raymond but they don't I do Something going crazy. Okay, I think I might go. Thank you to my subscribers. Subscribers, I hope you have listened, watched my last shout out video and you've gone over to that channel and give her the love and support that she needs to get going in this reborn community. The more we have, the better we can share our babies to everyone out there. Um, if you're not one of her subscribers, please subscribe. And if you're new to the, if this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos on my crazy channel, welcome. I'm not crazy. I'm just crazy. Um, subscribe. If you've liked this video, subscribe and give it the thumbs up. You don't have to give the thumbs up, but it'd be nice if you subscribe. And if you subscribe, have that click in the little bell. Now, where are we? Down there, I think it is. Or is it this side? I can't remember on here. And pick and get notification. So I think I will say goodbye now. Um, it's getting a bit nippy and I want to put my heater on and I want to get changed in my nighty for the night. 
and I'll have a shower later so everybody have a good day where you are enjoy your life do what makes you happy that is the most important thing and whatever you're feeling accept what you're feeling if, if you're feeling down that's okay just accept that feeling and work your way through it which is how I get through my bad times if I'm having a bad time with depression, I don't push, I don't force my way out of it. I just go with my, what I'm feeling and eventually I will get through it and I will get out the other side. It's the only way because forcing it will not make it any better, quicker. Yes, feel worse. So just go with the flow, live, love and enjoy this world. And Garfield wants to say goodbye. Doesn't he? Do you want to say goodbye to our beautiful people? And say goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, Bob. Bye bye. Have a good day, mate. Bye. <laughs>